All right, everyone, we're um, gonna have a little video on how to um, put the wood pieces for your wall. So I have some quick tips, even if you're feeling like, I know what I'm doing, I don't need to watch this video. Um, I strongly advise you to, because again, I got some great tips that I wanna share with you. So I think that'll help with our um, structures, make them sounder and easier to get off the wax paper. So you've already framed out your wall. Um, so you're going to need some supplies. You're going to need some masking tape, um, a nickel size of glue, not like this whole paper filled with glue, just a nickel size that you can just add more as you go. Sandpaper. Um, I want you to grab this, which is like um, a right angle. Um, you need a stick of this wood. You need your blade. And I want you to pick up two pieces of that balsa wood, the cheap stuff, the one that's like a one eighth by one eighth. All right, so gotta cut out your pieces of wood. Um, again, I would start with your bottom plate, your sole, and then your top plate. So piece of advice, I would cut one right to the size that it needs to be. And I already cut this one, let me get, oops, sorry get this video showing better for you so I cut this one and it's exactly what I want so this next one instead of just taking it up to the top and measuring it I know that these two pieces are exactly the same so I'm gonna butt them up right next to each other and this is one of the reasons why I like this L bracket because I'm then I'm gonna make sure that these are butted up right next to each other and that they're even then I'm gonna go over to this and I have to trim this so these are the same size so tip I want you to saw when you're cutting. So pinch these together and saw. It might be a little more work if you have to flip it and saw again. Here's what I'm noticing on some of your wood pieces. See, I have a cleaner cut when I saw. Um, so I have a cleaner cut. Um, this one. I was just pressing down, just like doing like uh, pressing down and my edges are not as nice. So I think the sawing will give you cleaner edges. I also like to cut just a tad bit longer than I need to, to kind of clear off these frayed edges. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna butt these up right next to each other, making sure that they're even. I'm gonna take my sandpaper and I'm just gonna do this once just to kind of smooth them out and make them level. And the side's already been done, okay? Don't go crazy sanding it because then you're going to make the stick smaller. So that, done. So, again, these are going to get put on its side. They're not laid this way. This is a no-no. You want it this way. And then you'll have your one up at the top. Ooh, do that so you can see the top. Alrighty. Now, my eight um, feet pieces... Are gonna go right inside here and they're going this way so I'm just shove this out of the way um, they're going here and here now this one is already cut so I have my eight foot and I need one two three four five six seven eight of them so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as my guide and I'm just gonna cut all eight pieces all together like one at a time of course now I'm gonna cut it and then I'll end up with my eight pieces. I gotta do my last one. So we got one more piece to cut. So I'm lining this up. And again, I like using this. So see how this is an angle? I don't want that. I'm gonna make sure that it's flush and flat. And it is. I'm gonna take my blade and I'm gonna do the sign. Okay, my sign is not working. I'm gonna do the wiggling now. But I think this is much better than some of us just, just like applying pressure and getting it to snap. Okay. And then I'm going to take my eight pieces that I have and make sure that they're all the same size. So I'm going to line them up. Da, 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 da. Okay, this, come on. They are not. Then I'm going to do a quick sand on the long ones. Okay, maybe I could just do a couple at a time instead of all eight. Okay, try this again. Okay, these look pretty good, lined up well. Set those aside, take my other ones, and double check them that they're all lined up and all the same size. 
yep, pretty dang good. I'm happy. All right, let's get to gluing. Shoving this off to the side. So, I'm going to take my sole plate and my top plate. I'm going to go in here. And then my wall stud is going to go here. So, remember, these are on their side. My sole plate's going, I mean, my wall plate's going, ugh, wall stud's going there. So, what I'm going to do is take my glue and I'm just going to dip the tip. Dip the tip. I'm gonna dip the tip over here. If there's any excess glue, just wipe that sucker off. You just only want the glue right there. When you have it here, what's gonna happen? It's gonna get glued to the wax paper, people. So we don't want that to happen. So I have an idea. I want you to take that piece of balsa wood that's the small skinny stuff, put it right here and put it right here. We're not gluing the board to it, the wall stud. We're just using it to prop it up so it doesn't get stuck to the graph, um, the wax paper. So I'm gonna do this. Actually, I got a better idea. Let's push it down a little more. There, push this one up here. And I am going to line these up. Line this up, make sure this is straight. Ugh. And that one is straight. Prop this up here so it gets glued. Okay. Um, so make sure that they're flush. What you could do is take a ruler and stick that ruler on there to press that down. If you think it's fine, then just let it go. Um, this is where I like to take that masking tape. I don't want this board to move anymore. So I'm going to just tape it down. Notice when I'm taping it, I'm not taping it where my stud's gonna go. Let me show you that a little better. So I'm taping it in between the studs so that stays in place for me. I'm gonna take this one here, put a piece of tape here to hold it in place. All right, and again, it's not interfering with my studs. Stay, boo-boo, stay. So the point of these sticks is just to prop up the wall stud so it doesn't get glued to the wax paper. So there's a gap right here. See the gap? So that should help our problem that we had in class with it getting stuck. I'm double checking, this is moved a little bit. Don't like that. And then just keep gluing. Keep going all the way through. You would glue the edges again, glue the edge again, stick it right to there in between the top plate and that bottom sole plate. And you just keep going and then let it set and dry. Um, once it's set and dry, then you can slide these out. But mine are not dry yet. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, wrap this up and then I'll put it back on and show you my completed product.